Remember to guard your privacy. All right, YouTube. So, uh, let's see. No one, no one's on yet. I don't even worry about talking too much. I'm going to build a water filter for the fountain in the back. That, uh, that's the deal. That's what I'm doing on this show. I just bought all of the gear at uh, Lowe's. Spent about 170 bucks, so I wouldn't have to spend $189 on a pre-made water filter. And uh, yeah, this is, this is what we're going to do. So I think I've got enough kind of scrap around the shop that I can uh, knock it out. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. But I also figured it'd be cool just to kind of sit down and chill a little bit. I know uh, summer's been a little bit crazy for me. It's probably been crazy for you too. So I would uh, yeah, just check in, see how the... See how the world is doing out there. Ooh, I got some. What will we be breaking today? <laughs> we shouldn't be breaking anything. I'm gonna be making a making a water filter. Um, oh, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. Well, I'll show you what the water filter looks like. Can I turn this thing around? Yeah, I think so. So I've got a problem in that this water is green and it should be sparkling clean. What's the expected ROI on this filter? Probably nothing. I've been working on this thing today. I got a bunch of my old off-grid stuff out because I had some extra. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd cruise in and get, get this thing done. And uh, yeah, maybe just hang out a little bit with you guys. So I think step one is to move some of this stuff out of the battle space. Give me some room to work. One of the uh, one of the things I saw was that the water filters that they sell online are maybe I don't know like that high, maybe a little bit higher. And I figured if mine was higher, it'd be longer. So the idea is that the water goes in the top, gets filtered, comes out the bottom, goes through this UV cleaner, which is I thought was going to be about that big, but it turns out it's <laughs> this big. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to uh, how I'm going to do this. This tube, little piece of trivia, is uh, leftover scrap from when I was making a catheter for uh, for paragliding. So you can pee in flight without pissing all over yourself. All right, I'm going to get uh, some of the shit out of the way. And uh, step one is probably going to be cutting this uh, cutting this white pipe that's on the ground. Yeah, you can see that. All right, so I think we'll just measure it and uh, yeah, see if we can cut through it. What, uh, what do you guys got going on today? What's new in your world? What's going on with helium or otherwise workshop stuff? I think this is mostly a, a workshop -y session. I think I'm gonna make this thing three feet high. I think, I think that's the right thing to do. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe I'll go 32. Yeah. And then I'll write a little reminder of myself. 32 inches that way. We can do it. Yeah, if you guys are working on projects, let me know what you're working on. If you got helium questions, hit me up with that. If you got other project questions, I just put, uh, ooh, I don't know, you can probably see this too. This pole on the roof is starting to get crowded. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, so you also need, um, Duff, you also need a uh, filter for the media. The um, the uh, UV light won't be enough. And so I've been doing a little bit of YouTube research and found that you can use the little scrubbies. Got my project book. This is uh, step one for all my projects. Um, but I find you can use these little scrubbies to make a, a decent filter. So that should take out most of the physical stuff. And then I've got a bunch of uh, like small rocks and pebbles from some planting project I did. Um, and I'm gonna put those either in between or maybe at the top and let that uh, serve as a place for hopefully beneficial bacteria to hang out and cruise. But because it's PVC and because I'm building myself, if I don't like it and it doesn't work out the way I want it to work out, then I will just rebuild it. Pretty simply, I'm not working on any uh, 
Yeah, well, I guess technically this will eventually be a helium project because um, this is going to be this is going to be the water filter project. When are we gonna get koi fish? I don't know if koi fish want to be in that little pot, man. That thing's pretty small. Um, but I also thought that it would be super cool to um, to build a concrete form and then make my own cool concrete form for the base of that fountain. So I think that's another option there. All right, these guys are in the way. These are the people counters are in that in that box, and that project is on hold while we wait for Parametric to sort out um, how to um, how to support helium in the uh, in the U.S. Because right now they don't have an easy way to do it. Now, I'm not saying it can't be done. If uh, Travis or Fish or a Gray Hat guy ever watch this, they're gonna be like, "Oh, dude, you just..." you know, double spline the Python code to the Super X 2000 and the SP 940 and just fix it. Yeah. Most projects on hold here. Yeah, yeah it's been a busy, busy month. Um, I went to, I went to that wedding in Israel. That was pretty cool. Um, I'd never seen a Jewish wedding before. That was rad. Those guys rock. And uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. And then just cruising all over Israel, seeing if I could uh, set the record running up Masada. Turns out I didn't, but I think I was in the top 30, so that's good. And uh, I think this is going to be plenty, because most of them are like maybe to here, but you can't see that. So if this is the end, most of the filters I've seen are like to right here, so super, super short. But could be wrong. And I'm sure... One of you will tell me there's a better way to cut PVC. Um, I guess I could use the cutoff saw. It seems so damn simple. Done. All right, cool. I like using power tools, but uh, sometimes it's it's not the right tool for the job. So eventually, one of the cool things about this is the um, the water fountain project that I'm working on with a bunch of seed stuff is going to monitor all of the different pieces uh, that go into this water fountain. So I think we'll be measuring water temperature, turbidity, uh, salinity, pH, flow rate. There's something else. I was talking about it with the with the, the guy who's gonna help me with it, um, Dirk here. And we're just saying like, what are the, what are all the things that we could measure, and what are all the things that we could figure out from from measuring that stuff. And I think that's actually pretty interesting and really at the core of this idea of like what's gonna work super well in in kind of IoT land. So. Um, can you exchange water for HNT, Eric? Yeah, maybe you can. Well, Eric, you've got you've got the water project. This is just the ooh, I cut that at an angle. Can you see that? Yeah, that's the angle. It's on straight on there. Um, I don't think it'll matter because I've got the cap. There we go, straight up, straight up and down. Ooh, that's ugly. Eric, don't judge me. Um, yeah, hopefully some of what I do here will help inform your work on the Asequia project in New Mexico. So that'd be pretty cool if uh, if this helped you out in some way. Okay, I got a couple caps, a whole bag full of stuff here. I got the uh, got my little glue and prep stuff. And then there is there is some geekery. There's this this little guy, which is a controller for the speed of the pump. I know you can't see it in the bag. Let me see if I can cut it open. Mm, I, I, now I'm I'm nervous. I'm like, what is uh, what's six one nine gonna make fun of me for with some kind of crazy uh, meme video or whatever from, from hammering on the drill press last time? It doesn't look that clean. Can you see that? Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Building and enclosure practice soldering, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, man, this thing looks ugly. So <laughs> this thing looks like I built it. Uh, but this is, ah, Dirk's gonna kill me because I don't remember. It. It's like a, I don't know, voltage resist or something or other for the DC motor to to make it run faster or slower. So I'll hook that thing up. We'll see 
power plus, power minus, motor plus, motor minus. What's the difference between power and motor? Oh, power is going in and motor is coming out. No shit. Well, it only took me a couple seconds to figure that out. Okay, and then these caps are going to go on there. So the finished thing will have these caps on, but I've got to get... One of the caps is going to get glued on. It's going to get drilled out in the, in the top of it so that I can put in um, this guy. I went to I went to Lowe's today and I was telling this guy what I did. And I have my little project book and I have my little diagram. And I was like, "Hey, where do I find this one part that I'm not I'm not finding?" And he goes, "I don't know what kind of MacGyver project you're doing, but maybe cruise over to the specialty hardware section and see if they have it." And I'm thinking, I cannot be the only person who's ever tried to cut a hole in PVC and make it do something other than you know, drain whatever. Toilet shit. Uh, okay, so, got my parts here. So the idea is that this piece, these are threaded backwards. I'm sure someone knows why that is. Probably something to do with gas or plumbing or water. Um, I haven't done the plumbing project in a long time. But I have a vague recollection that uh, that's what it is. Aaron, I'll let you laugh at it, but yeah, fuck it. Um, this will go through the wall of the pipe. So it'll go through this guy. And then on the outside is this will screw in on the outside there. There we go. And then I've got a hose that goes on here. And I think this hose will go out to the UV treatment. And then it'll go through the UV treater uh, treatment device and then back into the, into the little pond. So that'll be the last thing that happens. So we'll see how all of this stuff works. Um, I do have to drill a couple holes. And one of you guys last time told me to buy, what the fuck is it, like a stepper bit maybe? Mm -hmm. This guy. This little guy. You're making fun of me because I didn't have uh, this thing right here. But I've got it now. Although I can see, <laughs> I can see there's a minor problem here. You can probably see the same thing is that this... Step drill bit number three is not going to be big enough to drill the hole I need to drill. So there's going to be some general, general fuckery going on. And that puts this video outside of the realm of uh, safe for children. So there we go. Um, I'm thinking I should mark what I'm going to do. So I've got a top cap. And I bet when I'm done, I can just spray paint all this stuff to cover up some of the ugly ugliness that is about to uh, ensue. And then the other thing that I'll need to do is cut out the media and stuff it full. And I can see that uh, even if I cut all these in half and stack them up, they are still not going to be anywhere close to being enough to fill this thing up. So we're going to have plenty of rocks in there. Duff, they're great to ever show the stepper bits. Yeah, probably. Um, and maybe I, is, is, maybe I start the hole with it. Maybe that's the best way to start that hole. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure I got something, maybe I don't, something that big. Maybe I have a hole saw that, that that's big. Hang on a sec. Something over here. One of these guys. Oh, that looks a little bigger. That's too big. And what size is this? 44 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Damn, let me... I may have to do it. I'm not sure what size this is. 44 millimeters is a little bit too big. We'll see what else I've got. Oh, here's the rest of my hole saw. It's my hole saw collection. Too big, way too big. How about this guy right here? Ah. That actually looks good. That's going to be good enough. And this is an Irwin bit. I don't know if Irwins are good or not, but they're blue and I like them. And it's an inch and a half. Maybe an inch and a quarter would be better. But uh, for right now, we'll try this out. Unless I can find an inch and a quarter bit, which I may have somewhere. So this, this guy, 15, 16, it's no. I actually thought I had an inch and a quarter bit somewhere. Maybe it's in my... Nope. 
Yeah, so we'll, we'll drill the hole out and see how it works. Um, should I bring you guys closer so you can see what's what the haps is? Yeah. And did I miss anything? You guys, you guys talk, say something I missed, uh, missed it on the comments? Sorry, my, my ugly mug there for probably longer than you want. That's a little better. Okay. Here we go. There. So this means this comes out. I'm wondering if this is going to rip my hand and clean out. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. I'm pretty sure this has gone in here before, but maybe not. Maybe it's too thick. That'd be a bummer. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. Okay, so step one there. And then uh, next question is, should I put the hole into the cap so it's coming straight out the bottom? Or should I put the hole into the pipe so it comes out the side of the pipe? Probably. Hmm. Let me set it all up so I can see how it looks. There's the bottom down here. You guys can see that. And then here's the UV. Oh, pretty clearly. I want to set it up down at the bottom. I can take this guy off. I think this is the output. Um, and this is the input because the light goes, I think, right through here. So this will come in here. God, do I drill through the cap and the pipe? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Eric, if you're if you're still there, I know you do uh, construction stuff. If you can see a, a better way for me to do this, I'm open to it. Dog. All right. So that stands there. And this goes, I'm thinking this goes something like this down here. Hopefully you can see that. Shit. There is an errant piece of land cable from the router from whenever I'm doing uh, extra shit in here. We'll get that out of the way. And let's see how this looks. Yeah. Like that. Mm, do I have another light that you guys can like this thing up with so okay i think that's gonna that's actually gonna be just fine and it's going to be anyway it's going to be a tube um coming out and connecting the two so it doesn't have to be perfect but i think right there let's just uh make some marks if you go through the side of the cap how will you screw on the fitting i think um i don't think look look how uh, long this is I don't fuck did I lose that goddamn fucking nut probably there's where the shit show starts ah for Christ's sake where did I put that thing um I mean maybe it's too thick oh no there it is cool maybe it's too thick but I think let's see if we just screw it all the way on with this um at the base and everything hopefully I didn't miss the like the critical comment that's like oh no this is exactly how you do it and i'm just looking away but the nut in the gasket yeah so man screwing on opposite counterclockwise is not i'm not remembering that well i th i think there's enough play i mean there's enough thickness in it that that's i can't imagine that that space right there is um not thick enough to go through both the cap and uh, and the pipe is that what you're saying Let's see if i can get this thing off because i guess i could just go through the top of the pipe i guess you don't need to sit the pipe all the way into the end cap um no but i'm thinking i go through both the both the end cap and the pipe right is there is there a reason not to do that I don't think so. Maybe it's just a, more of a pain in the ass to drill. 
I think. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what a pain in the dick this thing is. Ugh. There's got to be a better way to do this. How, how can't you fit the nut in after? Oh, because I can't. I see what you're saying. So you're saying if. The, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, no, that, that totally makes sense. Now I'm getting it. Um, what you're saying, if I'm reading it right, is that I won't be able to reach in here. And you're totally right because my finger is like right there and get all the way down if the cap is off and on. So, yeah, I need longer arms. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for saving me, uh, saving me right there. Um, yeah, so I guess what are, the, what are the options? Option one is to just drill it a little higher so I can take the cap on and off. Um, that just means there's extra stuff at the bottom, but who cares? Option two is to cut this down so it's shorter. I mean, my arms can go to right here, so I lose a good, geez, is that 12 inches? Fuck that, yeah. So I'm not gonna do that, I'll just, dude, good call. So um, I'm assuming Duff is a dude. I think I'll, I'll put it here instead, nice. So that will go here. So my next thing then is how likely is it that this is going to form a good seal? Because this is round and this is flat. But I guess the only way to do it is to find out, right? Or I think the other thing you were saying is like maybe I could cut part of this out, right? And then give myself, get it down even further. Is that is that something else you're thinking of? But I guess that doesn't matter because you... If the cap is, I'd have to cut, I'd have to make a cut out here. Oh, and that might be a cool way to do it. How do I do that? Just with a jigsaw, huh? Yeah. Okay. That seems pretty reasonable. So I might cut something out that is this. I'd have to cut out enough so that this whole thing will fit. Maybe that doesn't give it enough strength. Maybe I just do the pretty easy thing yeah that's an option too um do the pretty easy thing and just put it right here i think that's that's probably the best bet is put it a little bit high no big deal you know if this much water just stays in the bottom all the time i can always dump it out and if i really wanted to i could put like a weep hole in a or a, a like a drain hole down here and put a plug in it all right i think that's a better idea that is that's the plan now and uh i bought $27 worth of pipe. I'm only using seven, so, or, or six. I got another three tries of this. This doesn't work. Let me go grab a pen. All right, so I think this guy can go. Yeah, we want this thing to be able to totally spin easily. Dude, there's so many things that go on all these projects where at the end of it you always i always think like oh I, i'll see someone do it on youtube like man they didn't make any mistakes and they nailed it and then you see the process like this you're like no i don't think i don't think many people nail it the first time maybe if i made 10 of these i would i'd be nailing it but yeah so that's a little bit too close this is probably just right and that is there and there so we'll call that there. something like that cool let's uh let's drill this drill this pig and see what happens um cap can come off or it can stay on now i better take it off i guess it doesn't matter i just want to take it off because i gotta take it off anyway to glue it back on no, but this doesn't look good Andrew, this is what you're going to fucking screenshot. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way. There we go. Cool. All right, so that's that. And we're going to make sure this guy can go down enough. I really want to be super fancy with it. Oh, look, some Cat 6 cable. Shocker. Everybody's got that around at this point. Okay, uh, a little bit of light, 
and a little eye and ear probe. Probably not gonna hurt. Make sure I can see out of the ear probe. Oh yeah, you can see what's going on there. There you go. All right. So, how bad is this gonna be? You think this thing's gonna zing around and brain me? Probably not. There we go. So that guy goes there. This guy comes out. This guy goes. Um, this guy gets loosened up and then hammered on, and I think it should work. Maybe I need to go a little bit slower. I've been having problems with this uh, lately, and I fucking totally forget what I was supposed to do. There's some some machinist crap that I should do. But if I get old Heafy on here, he'd be telling me like, "Oh, dude, you do this." But he's not on here now. We'll see if any of these guys work. I forget if this one is metric or oh, I think this one had it's got a weird um it's got a weird size. Come on, pig. The uh I'll tell you a funny story. Um nope, that's not it is I just noticed that the hotspot, the very first hotspot I ever put up that's on my house uh, has been down for 10 days. I have no idea why. Went down when I was in Israel. Um, yeah, no idea why. So that was interesting. I just, I looked at it, I was like, oh, I wonder how that thing's doing because I haven't done anything with it. And maybe it's been a year now. Maybe maybe the concentrator went out sooner than a year ago. But um, yeah, that was that was a little bit of a, Unpleasant surprise. There we go. Cool. So, got to pull the pull down. I just pulled it down the other day to put another pollen dandelion on there. Nice. And so that's on there and up and running. And that's actually been pretty cool. It's been like a fun little project to mess around with. Hammer. I need a hammer. Be right back. I think of the two, the red one is going to be better. It's going to have a little more solidity. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I, I think that's actually technically correct. Could be wrong. Someone watching this later tells me don't hammer your drill, drill press. I'm sure there's a name for this thing, your head or whatever. But uh, okay, so that should be that. We'll see if we run into that problem again. Hopefully not. Ooh, did I pull that out of? Damn, I think I pulled that out of the wrong. No, no, it can live in here. That's gonna be fine. Here. Let's see if we get this to work this time. Where did I put the bit? In here. Okay, doesn't matter if this thing is lined up, all that matters is. Protect all the goodness. And let's see if we can get it to work again. Dude, what am I what am I missing here? I'm missing something important, that's for sure, because that, that shouldn't happen twice. Why is that sliding off? 
<coughs> I should have choked to death on my own spit right in front of you guys. I don't know why that happened twice. Odd. Very odd. I hope I'm not missing the, the comments. These comments, does, I've got them shooting this thing on my phone. And the comments disappear within like three seconds. So if I don't see them, if I'm not looking up, then there's not a great, great way to know that uh, you gave me some great intel and I didn't use it. I would have thought that that thing was plenty tight enough and on there plenty good. Obviously, I was wrong. What is... I don't think it has anything to do with this. The thing is greasy as fuck. Maybe it needs a harder head. Maybe that's the deal. I don't think so, but eh, could be it. All right, well, if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to resort to the Googs to fix it. Because uh, I don't think, unless I'm wrong, I mean, should I be hitting that thing harder? Any any people, uh, old drill press people, and know any better than me on this? I should be wailing the shit out of that thing. I don't think so. Well, I mean, the rest of the drill press looks like you could take it. Maybe a, a metal hammer? I don't think so, though. <laughs> what is it? WD-40? I don't think WD-40 is going to do what I want it to do. I want this thing to stay on there, dude. I don't want it to go sliding off again. I think that is tightened down pretty decently. Um, I don't... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This is the, the third time. If this doesn't happen this time, then I'll do... I've got a hand electric drill I really don't want to use because it's just twist the shit out of my little arms. And as, as embarrassing as it is, that drill is a lot stronger than, than my little string bean arms. So, And especially my wrist. I fucked my wrist up catching the pole on the roof last year. It's almost like it should have a slot for a keyway. Yeah, it doesn't have a slot. It's all smooth. I remember when the dude... Um, or there's a machinist who used to live down the street from me. He's dead now. But he came by and he's like, oh, yeah, you just, like, tap it on. Like, it's some friction fit thing. Yeah, I, I, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. But unfortunately, I can't call him up and ask him because he's dead. So, so there's that. But, uh, that knowledge died with him. That dude could build anything. He's rad. He'd bring by old pieces of metal all the time. Be like, hey, I thought you could use this. You could weld something up with it. I mean, maybe it's just like the initial um, cut that this thing is making. The friction is, is so great that it's just not going to work. And I need to go even slower. Third time's charm. Yahtzee. And the twist. What's the twist? A profile. What I miss? Is that some technical term or are you just making fun of me? <laughs> just, having, just having a laugh. All right, let's see if we can clean that out, which I think we can. And then we'll try fitting this thing into it. And then that should be good. It's, um, maybe I need to find a better way to do the, uh, the live stuff in the garage because I'm sure I'm missing some of the comments and I'm sure some of them would have helped me not fuck this thing up. So, got my special unicorn shirt on for you guys today. That's a pretty big deal. Okay, so that is done. This should, in a perfect world, where is the washer? Did I lose that? Sure looks like I did. Oh, no, it's right here. So 
There should be two pieces and I can see both of them. Cool. All right, so there is the rubber washer. And I don't think I'm gonna add any extra sealant to this. I think I'm just gonna let this, um, just the pressure fit, do it. It's a little loose. Gosh, does it go that way? No, it must go this way. Dude, is that right? That can't be right. Fuck. God damn it. I don't think that's right at all. I think I totally got this thing backwards. Let's see. Is there... Come on, Nick. Think, think with your brain. Is there a better way to do this? This goes here. This guy goes in here. I'm looking to see if you guys got comments and are seeing seeing something I'm not seeing. But I think what I what I think is gonna happen is that this is not gonna be enough and I'm gonna have to put a bunch of I'm gonna put a bunch of goop on it and then let that um, let that goop sit up and I think I've got in here a bunch of sealant. So that means that this thing then is almost done as far as this guy going on. Man, I'm not sure that I wanna totally um, glue this thing on. I would way prefer to, to screw it on so I could unscrew it if I need to. But I guess the worst thing that happens is I cut this thing off and uh... yeah, no, that's that's not going to work at all. What about, <clears throat> what about this? Will that work? I don't think that's going to be much better. There's not enough uh not going to be enough friction on that thing. So it's going to have to go in and then it's going to have to have a bunch of, bunch of goop on it. Um, we're going to use some E6000 or All right, I think the nitrile high performance plastic adhesive Resist weathering, water, oil, plasticizer, migration, aliphatic, f I can't say fuel, fuels, not fucks. Bonds, vinyl extrusions, and sheeting may be heat cured to obtain superior physical properties. So it's this stuff, which might be the right choice, or I've got the E6, or... Probably even better. So E6000 is this stuff. Or I'm thinking the Marine World. Application aluminum, fiberglass, metal, wood, carpet, plastic, composite, deck hardware, galley parts, shafts. Yeah. Set time five minutes, cures in one hour, dries white. Great repairs and gap filling on boats, personal watercraft, deck, and hull accessories. Mm, don't say anything about fountains. I don't say anything could possibly go wrong. All right, it comes with a little stick. I don't think you're supposed to eat it. Prepare, so clean repair area. After removing the replaceable cap, press down on plunger and squeeze and mix equal amounts onto a disposable thirst surface and mix thoroughly. Apply with appropriate tool and an even coat, weld, bead, or sheet. Sets in five minutes. Okay. So I, this pretty standard stuff is just push this shit out, mix it up on a piece of plastic, and then slop it on here. Um, put this thing down tight, and as they say, Robert Sifal's brother. Screw it in, turn that pond into a water catcher, and grow weed in it more. Like, <laughs> I've, I've grown pot in the backyard before. I, I've got some pretty good soil for it, but um, I think those days are over for me. All right, uh, let me go find a piece of plastic in the rest of the shop and we'll cut that up and then use that to mix mix what we're gonna do. I don't think we need this anymore. I think we can just use that do I have other plastic I'm sure I do Yep. Okay. We got our piece of plastic. 
this was for nuts and bolts for something. It is no longer going to be used for that. And we're going to come back here and mix it on up. See what's shaking. See what's shaking here. Okay, here's my mixer. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can't you can't see this that well, huh? I mean, not that you desperately need to see me mixing shit, but we're here, we're on YouTube, might as well fucking mix it together. Uh, yeah, so it gets, I think what I'll do is, because I'm going to be grinding it in, I'm going to cut this thing too, hang on a sec. Alright, so. This is what I got now, so I can put my hand in there, which would be cool. Smash it in, should be good. This is the replaceable cap, is that right? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, dog, fire it up. Try not to knock yourself out in the process. And let's get that stuff. There we go. Probably want to put this back on. Guessing. So that's done. And then mix this thing up. Does it say nice drill press? Thank you. Thank you. It was a, it was a gift. Some guy had, I think I saw it in someone's shop and I was like, hey, that's a cool drill press. And they're like, hey, this thing is super dangerous. I saw this thing uh, take my grandfather's finger off. If you want it, it's yours. You can carry it out, it's yours. Thing weighs, it weighs about as much as I do. It weighs about 150 pounds. So I carried it out and uh, it's been sitting here ever since and I screwed it in and uh, it doesn't move that much now. So that's pretty good. Okay, I think this is our piece here. That's how it's gonna go there. I think we want the, I think we want this washer on the outside. And yeah, let's see how this thing works. Ooh, that is not very, it's a little too viscous, but we'll just smear it on and see what happens. Oh, I probably should have worn gloves for this. I'll be wearing this stuff for the next four weeks. See if I still have this stuff on at Helium House. There's that. There's that. Looks like this thing will never come off. And then there is this guy here. And I think we're pretty pretty much done with this one. On the bottom, uh, A profile. Oh, the washer goes on the bottom? Shit, I hope it doesn't. You think it does where the where the nut is to allow the nut to spin more freely? Oh fuck, this fucking mm, this whole project is gonna be a minor disaster, isn't it? Because you can't spin the nut uh, so no gunk builds up. Maybe you can't spin the nut enough to oh my god how am i gonna fix this uh because the nut is so big and the curve is so tight that you can't spin the nut totally to to get it nice and tight so i think i'm just going to be relying on this gunk and goop um, around the edge here and what i may do is make an extra piece because none of this stuff matters as far as um uh, actually looks semi-reasonable. I know you can't see it close up, but it doesn't look that bad. Because all I need is the, the inside piece to work. Um, the inside threads to work. And maybe I'll put a little bit, I'm gonna wash the, my finger off. It's gonna bug me. Oh, it comes right off, super easy. Yeah, I think I'll make some more of this stuff. Can always add more glue, that's right, Duff, you can always add more. Shit, yeah. I know where to buy more of this, too. At the getting place. Okay. Let's mix this stuff up. Let's see how that works. And then just glop it on, and we'll see if this is also going to work really well as, um, as a sealant. I'm assuming it is, because it said it was Marines something or other. You know those Marines. They don't mind getting in the water. 
All right. Well, I'm going to say this is not going to come off in one clean piece ever. And but the cool thing is, I think they said that you can um, you can sand this thing or you can sand this stuff and machine it. So that'd be that'd be kind of cool if I can clean it up a little bit because it is certainly not the prettiest thing you've seen right now. Not quite as ugly as my rain barrel, but uh, and it's close. Okay. There we go. I think I got all the gaps filled. What do they say is as exciting as watching the paint dry? Well, you're, getting, you're watching the paint getting put on. Um, man, I had a client today reach out to me and he's like, hey, uh, in your consulting thing, it was 30 days of help after the consult and then an additional 10 days once all my gear came in. And my gear just came in. We did the consult a year and a half ago. Dude's been waiting a year and a half for his helium hotspots to come in. They just came in. Today is August 25th. Um, I can't remember when we did the did the consult, but it was, I think it was over a year ago. And I was just like, damn, that was, you know, I think I, I kind of warned everyone about what I saw coming down the pipe as far as numbers, but it's easy to say now that you can look back and be like, yeah, you should have spent 10 grand on a hotspot in early summer of 2021. And you would have been way better off than waiting. But I don't think, I don't think anyone really kind of thought the whole thing through and expected it to be as crazy as it was. Cause it was, it was pretty, uh, pretty crazy for sure. I don't know how many of you guys waited on, waited on hotspots or how many of you just got them earlier, got lucky or something else. But I felt, I felt bad for the guys. Just like, uh, that's a total, total bummer. I don't think there's anything any one of us could have done to make it any better, but uh, still a bummer when people aren't, aren't getting the dream that they want. All right, so this goes in the trash. That can get set up and cure. And what does it say for curing? It's what's on. Uh, apply with da, 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 da. sets in five minutes, cures in one hours. If temp is 50 degrees or below, set time is longer. And then I thought there was something in here about uh, heating it to make it go faster. Maybe, maybe it's not worth doing. All right, let me pull this thing around. Oof. Stand by, got my hands full here. I'm not sure where I'm going to go next, so hang out, hang out here. All right. Um, the next piece is going to be drilling a hole in the top cap for the intake. That was the uh, I don't know what you call it in water air. I call it exhaust, but the out outflow is the outflow we just did. So the next one up will be the intake, and the intake is just in the cap, and it's basically the same thing but a smaller, um, smaller piece. And that piece is... I don't know if you guys can see all this stuff, I know. Let's see if this thing will work. Hey, you. Right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this stuff right here. So this is the next piece. So it's the same, same thing I just did. Um, Come on now. There we go. But uh, on a smaller scale, and I bought, I wasn't sure what I was going to need, an extra washer. Uh, we can shit can most of that stuff. And so what will happen is you end up having this little kind of step down piece. Same as before. This guy screws in there, and it looks like they have it set up for me. So this is, I think, it, this is how it came out of the bag. And I'm guessing that uh, that means that I got the other side. Oh, I can't tell which, can't tell which um, side this washer goes on. I think Duffy had said the washer goes next to the nut and not next to the um, rubber washer in the wall that the 
but I had set it up for the PVC in the middle. So I guess we'll see. We'll see how it works, but I can see there, there's a pretty significant flaw in the plan as it currently is. So we'll see if that uh, if that works out or not, but I'm gonna drill, drill a hole in the cap here. My cap is dirty, it really gets so dirty. Drill a hole in the cap and then this thing will sit in there and the pump will shove it in here and then go through all the media and out the bottom. And we should have by tomorrow morning, a because uh, I'll, I'll have all the stuff set up tonight, um, something that works. So I think that's it. That's probably about an hour. Uh, you guys don't need to see too much of me gluing and drilling and screwing all the rest of the stuff. I figured I'd open it up in case you had questions, but I don't see a ton of them. I will see you guys on the... Uh, the state of the network that we're going to do on Friday at nine. We've got Angry Bear coming on there, uh, talking about Helium Foundation stuff, and then the usual state of the network. Dave will have the the numbers for it and the rest of it. I think you should have gone with a threaded cap, dude. I totally wanted to go with a threaded cap, but this uh, pipe was the only size that they had at Lowe's, and this is what is it called? DVW. It's like drain. Jesus drain vent and waste and so it didn't fit any of the um yeah so you replaced me this so i think what i'll do on this is i will not glue this top cap so this top cap is a pretty tight fit and it will just slide on and slide back off but the bottom cap um, i will glue because that's got to be more watertight and i think between gravity and the pump pushing this in that will probably be okay with all of that could totally be wrong but yeah that's that's my plan. Um, yeah, I totally think that the threaded cap would have been better. All right, cool. I'm going to get back to work on this um, unless you are maybe just tape it. Tape it once it's on there. Yeah, I guess I could. I mean, I may just make the whole thing again, but I'll see how well this works. This this may end up being totally fine, um, and, and there's no need to further optimize, and no need to spend a bunch of money. I think I, think I saved $6 by doing it this way on a $197 purchase, so not like I'm saving a bunch, but... It's always like way more fun to work on shit and build it yourself than um, than to buy it pre-made and let someone else have all the fun of doing it. Okay. If it leaks, if it leaks, yeah, it'll be a problem. But uh, I'll test it tomorrow. I, I, I mean, it's not going to leak on the bottom. It's, well, it might leak on this. Um, it might leak on the fitting I just put in. So that's totally possible. We'll see. It won't leak if the, the bottom cap is on and glued. It shouldn't leak, right? Because that's PVC. That should be totally fine. And then the top of it is, I mean, there's not going to be a ton of, like, I don't think there's going to be a ton of water pressure in there. That I don't think the pump can push that much. So even if this thing isn't, the other cap isn't glued onto the top and it's not completely watertight, I bet it's going to be, I bet it's going to be okay. So that's my big guess. All right, folks, um, ripping. I will see you guys later. See if I can shut this sucker down. I'll see you on uh, Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Maybe I can't shut this thing down. Thanks for tuning in. Check out what's going on in the uh, in the shop. So use nylon string to cut the pipe. Huh. I saw a YouTube about that, but I haven't I haven't done it. I cut it just fine with the saw. So. Or, is, or were you saying um, something else as far as nylon string? Where would I cut that differently? I think it's just cutting the pipe and being... Being fun with it. All right, folks, I think that's it. I'm not going to kill any more of your time. Take care.